Hello everyone, how are you? It's Kei. Thank you for watching this video today. This is the 11th of October 2022 and this is my third time recording because I, every time I record the video I keep ringing ring the bell, I get the alarm. Um, so I hope this time I can record it until the end of what I want to say today and hopefully um, I can get through. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so today I wanted to talk about the difference between range and trending markets because um, everybody is from different backgrounds and different strategies in different ways to see the charts and markets and the definition of range and trend might be different too. And since there are new members here in my YouTube channel recently, I just wanted to make it straight on what I mean by range and what I mean by trend based on Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, which is my main indicator with my strategy. So, uh, since there are new members, uh, let me first briefly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Kei, K E I, K, and I am a full time Forex trader. Sometimes I trade gold, but mainly I trade Forex. And uh, originally, I'm from Japan, and since last July, I'm here in Dubai, and uh, so yeah, I say myself as a full-time trader, not because I see charts, monitor charts every day, but because the trading is my main source of income, and that's why I claim myself as full-time trader. So nine years, I have been trading, and there are some ups and downs for the first three years. And based on my experience, I share about the views of the markets and also some uh, trading strategies in psychology and also the risk management. You know, um, before I was watching the videos in Japan and mainly people talk about the strategies, especially the entry strategies. They really like, they really love entry strategies to discuss and which indicator, which strategy works the best was basically the main topic. And I was believing that if he perfect the entry timings, then I thought I can make profits. But after trial and errors for the three years, the first three years, I realized that it's not the truth. But the truth really is into the psychology, the mindset, and also the risk management. In other words, I believe if we, re if we perfect the psychology and the risk management, then whichever strategy you use, I think you'll be successful. So in my YouTube channel, I talk about my strategies. Not only that, every month's end, I review my own trades. So uh, last Saturday, I did my review on my trades in, in the month of September. So if you haven't watched that archive, you can check that and enjoy how I took these trades. But uh, again, today I wanted to talk about uh, what it means by range and trend based on Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So um, yeah, so let me switch screen and get into the discussion now. So here is the trading view, and this here this is the Euro USD, and this is a daily time frame. So when you see this trend, when you see this market, you think that this is downtrending or this is ranging? Is the first question I wanted to ask yourself. Please take a moment and think about that, because I have a clear view. I have a clear answer whether this is range or trend. So you get the answer now in your head. So this is for me range. This is range for me. And if I say it's range, you may go, why is it? Because you see the market has been lower highs and lower lows, reversing the waves continuously. So this is range. So the market is market has been down. Hold on, let me let me um, enlarge. So 
if you look at these candles, this is a daily time frame. So for the last five days, it has been bearish. So you may think that this is downtrend. Uh, hold on, let me pop up my video. Sorry. Because I want to get through this on this recording. So <laughs> yeah, so again, this is downtrending because overall, it has been bearish, bearish in waves. And it broke the support on the 21st September. And then it retraced back, but then it was resisted by trend line. And for the last five days, it has been bearish. So you may think that it's going down, it's bearish. And that is true. That is true in terms of the price action, but that is not true based on Ichimoku, King Kohyo. And because if you check the, so I use Ichimoku King Kohyo as my main strategy. And uh, you see the Kumo right now, this is the gray area is called Kumo. And Kumo itself is flat right now. And the green one is called Kijun Sen. And Kijun Sen being flat. And the blue one is called Tenkan Sen. Tenkan Sen is angle up. And Chikou Span below candles which shows the bearishness, but in terms of the market direction, it's range, it's flat, is what I mean by range. So what I mean by range is basically means the buyers and sellers uh, power balance is 50-50. I'm not saying this is range in terms of the momentum, in terms of the wave. In terms of the waves, it's bearish. In terms of the trend line, it's bearish. The market has been resisted by the trend line and Kumo many times. So overall, it's bearish. But if you look at this daily time frame with Ichimoku, Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, I say that this is range because and that means uh, buyers and sellers are 50-50 level. And when buyers and sellers 50-50 level, what that means is that the market can go up or down. So the market may go up to the trend line or Kijun Sen and go down. This is one of the possible scenarios. Or the market goes down from tomorrow or from today, the market starts to go down, but it doesn't break the support and then retrace back this way. This is another scenario. Or simply the market continuously range without touching, without going up to the trend line or without going down to the support, it just goes sideways. And we never know. We cannot really tell which way it goes is what I mean by range. And that's because again, the buyers and sellers power balance is 50-50. And I don't want to take the 50-50 chance. I always take, I always want to take the 60 to 40 chance or 70 to 30 win and lose or uh, buyers and sellers power balance. And then I look for an entry timings. Before I was, when I was following based on the price actions and the lines, I will be looking for the selling edge already by today because Again, it has been bearish in waves and nicely uh, resisted by the trend line. So this is bearish. But uh, now I don't. I simply, when I see this market, I simply close my, close my uh, monitor or simply I move on to other pairs and see and look for a trending market and trending time frame. So, uh, and also because this is also related my concept is that um, I want to be time efficient in trades. And what I mean by time efficient is that um, once I go into the market, um, I want the market to go towards my direction. And otherwise I exit is my mindset. And if I take 50-50 chance, then I can't really expect which way it goes or it may range for a couple of hours, couple of days without 
hubbing the profit towards my direction, the market may range for the next couple of days, and it's not time efficient to make profits. Uh, so, and during the during the days when after the market ranges after my entry, I my psychology will be unhealthy most likely, because I don't still I'm in in the break even in the next three days. So, uh, and if I see some other pairs trending, not this one, but another one tra start to trend, then I might think of the other one to trade. Yeah, I just close this one and capture another trending market. So if I keep holding in this condition like this, then it's not really healthy. So instead of going in and expect the market to go towards my direction in this range market, I simply stay away and look for the trending market to trade. So today, this is the 11th of October, but we have some uh, AUD pairs trending. So let me just take one of the examples. Um, so for example, um, let's see, AUD USD. This one is nicely downtrending, not only the waves and the trend lines, but also if you look at the Kumo and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, and Chikou Span below candles, all these lines are angled down. And this is the market I want to trade. There is an edge uh, to trade uh, that the market goes towards my direction. So this is a type of the market I trade, but uh, not this one is I wanted to clarify today. So um, again, I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo with my own understanding and uh, with my own experience for the last nine years, I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo like this. Um, and this is really effective, at least for me, it, work, it has been working for the last six years. Of course, I have the knowledge of and experience of, uh, of the candles and lines and other, uh, other uh, strategies to look at, but basically I use Ichimoku to, uh, to capture the market directions and trends. So uh, if you are still unsure uh, which market to trade, and so I recommend you to take the trending market. And I'm just giving this as example. If you're using the moving average, for example, like multiple moving averages, which I used to do also, if you take the multiple moving averages, Make sure you wait until you see a trending signal. And when multiple moving averages show its range, then simply stay away. Whether you use the MACD RSI or any sort of indicators, you only trade when the market is trending is the key to success. At least based on my experience for the last nine years, it is a truth. So, uh, so that's something I wanted to talk and share today. So hopefully you get this concept and uh, be time efficient on your trades. But uh, please uh, don't get me wrong. This is, I think, very difficult in terms of psychology because you might have to wait for the next trending market and you might become impatient to wait uh, for that but rather you might want to jump in because of the formal fear of missing out. You might want to jump in or you might want to distort, distort your strategy and just get the entries. So patience really becomes the key. Uh, but uh, if you master this mindset, then I'm sure you get the peace in mind and uh, your analysis will be much, much easier. So. Yeah, that's something I want to share today. So, yeah, thank you for watching until the end. And I will see you in the next one. So, thanks so much. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thanks so much.